He's gonna cuddle the hell out of you when you're like that. <laughs> Let's get you prepared for your new life in my room. He just wants to fly around the room. Mm -hmm. He's like, this lady, can you just get me Brando? We had an accident in the house and one of our birds is in the hospital, right now in fact. I get a call from George. He noticed that Blue's beak was split and possibly cracked. I heard the fear in his voice. I feel like what must have happened is this. I bet Merlin went for Brando and Blue went in the middle to protect Brando and just was able to grab onto Blue's beak. I knew that I wanted him to have a surgery. Right now, Blue is at the vet. I'm going to be picking him up today. Hello, my fellow sniffers, flighters, and hatchlings. My name is Marlene McCohen, and welcome to our channel. This is Meg Ham. Hello. Today, we are outside of All Animals Veterinary Hospital, where my bird has just gone through surgery, and we are about to pick him up. So let's make a call and get our little baby. I need to see my baby. It's been a minute. They're very concerned about Blue's last name, <laughs> and like. Do you want the name on my card? Or do you specifically need Blue's last name? Because we haven't chosen one yet. So if you have one, then I don't know about it. Are we enrolling him in school? Then I tell her my last name and she repeats, we need to know Blue's last yeah, name. Yeah, she does. I'm like, um. Wait, what? <laughs> I don't know what kind of paperwork George and I have together. Is it <laughs> George's last name, my last name? She's like, the bird's last name, please. Apparently it's on file. Well, never mind. Are you going to go in there and call attendance and he's going to walk up front? <laughs> Will Blue McCohen if please come? If that even come? is his last name. Yeah. We don't even know. I have no idea what his last like name is. Like the bird, the blue bird named Blue. That just said surgery. But we need his last name. Um, <laughs> do you have it on file? Because I'd like to know <laughs> what you guys named him. I guess we'll see in the um, receipt. <laughs> How are you, Blue? Hi, baby! Look, he looks like, oh, okay. We're back here. This is good news. Half court there. Okay, so this is, what is this? Is this medicine? Yeah, in a bird. What can I give him to eat? Well, he can go back to his normal food, really. Maybe soft oh veggies and stuff God. to start. Yeah. What yeah. is that? Is that like a cast? It's like an acrylic, basically. Just to hold it in place? Yeah. If it heals, the thing will fall off. And will some of the beak grow back where there's a hole? It'll probably mostly just like form, like heal itself, like change a little bit, but it's not gonna fully like go back, I don't think. Oh, <laughs> baby. He's yeah. got a prosthetic. He's got an acrylic nail for a beak. Oh. But he's a really sweet bird. Yeah. Megan, he has like a... Aesthetic. Oh, I never saw him. Did you see him before he went? Mm -mm. Do you see him now? I, I couldn't through the camera because it got really fuzzy. Look at him. My poor baby. Oh, he's gonna sleep in mommy's room. Why my baby? It's because you're a little blue fighter. Like if this is what it looks like with the acrylic, I don't know what it looked like without it. Aww. 
can you imagine he survived the whole surgery? Is he like standing? Like yeah, I, he's definitely like you know in good spirits. He's like obviously getting ready. Thinks he's gonna see Brando. Yeah, if you can come look at him and show me how to do the medicine. I mean, because looking at him has given me such a fright. Okay, so I'm gonna finish up this project. I'm talking okay. to Dad about how to finish it, and then I'll come. I'll head over there. Okay. Are you crying? Why are you crying? Because he looks scary. Can you send me a picture? Send me a picture. Okay. It's hard to get a picture of. Oh yeah. Oh my God, he looks like. Freddy Krueger. <laughs> I'm happy he's okay, but... <laughs> well, that's the new added thing. We have Freddy Krueger. Oh, he's the most beautiful Oh my god, he fully replaced his jaw? Uh, he doesn't... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You know he does, that's why you're laughing. Oh, he's so cute though. It's <laughs> not funny. It's actually not that bad. I really pictured a butcher job. Like what's yeah. Brando gonna think? This is like a cast. So there's a wire that's underneath that colored cast, right? And he's hoping it'll fuse together and then as the beak grows like a nail, it'll like grow well. And then probably that'll just fall off. Okay, I love you. Love you too. We're here. You see that? You just went to the hospital, that's all. You went to the hospital and then you came back to mommy. You're never gonna leave you. And now you get to show off your big strong cast to everybody. I always get worried that, you know, they think that they're being left somewhere, you know, like dropped off. But he knows, like he's he's looking like he must watch the outside of our house on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, are we here? I'm like, okay. Oh, he's gonna cuddle the hell out of you when you're like that. <laughs> Alright. Um I know. But then it's a little bit more of a pressing issue. I don't know if the bird wants to be cuddled, but he's gonna be cuddled. Let's get you prepared for your new life in my room. You know he's gonna wanna see Brando. I know! <sighs> What's going on? Okay. Hi, you wanna show everyone your little bee prosthetic? So this side's completely normal, but it still needs the prosthetic on both sides. I know. I know. He just wants to fly around the room. <laughs> He's like, this lady, can you just get me Brando? Don't you think you should relax? He's like, I've been relaxing for two days. <laughs> you see it? Mm -hmm. You're not acting like you got a problem. Hey, I need to process this. Give me a minute. Look, it's itchy. I mean, itchy can in uh, imply that it's healing. True. I mean, he's preening and everything, you know? Mm -hmm. He's got no problems. You wanna make you some? <laughs> yeah! Well, guys, I'm so glad that Blue is home and that Blue has energy and that he's in good spirits. I would prefer if he relaxed a little bit more, but I guess it's been two days since his surgery and they've been hand feeding him and keeping him contained. So I think he just wants to get out and, you know, spread his wings. I'm so happy that he's okay, that he's, you know, alive, like that, that there was no trouble with the surgery, that he survived the bite, that this was fixable, you know? But yeah, it's kind of hard to take in. It's a lot. I can't wait for him to see Brando. I mean, it looks like he's over there getting ready for her as we speak. Generally, I would say if your bird's coming home from the vet, you know, try to take it easy with your bird. But this bird, he's, he's got a mind of his own right now. So I'm letting him take the lead a little bit and then I'll get him to bed a little bit early. I'll let him see Brando, but I won't let him you know, hang out with the other birds, but I do enjoy that he's flying around and hanging out right now. I was a little bit scared.
scared about like, okay, your beak, but I mean, it has been in two days of bonding right now at this point, so. I mean, today would be the same as tomorrow, it would be the same as next month, I think. I'm exhausted from the experience. I think the shock, you know, because I didn't see this happen. I didn't see anything before he went to the vet. It's probably better be seeing it like this than how it was. And if you would like, comment some well wishes from Blue because definitely he would appreciate them. And he definitely, you know, went out on a limb for Brando. So I think he's a very special bird. Any of the comments that you guys write to him, I will read to him and I do believe he will enjoy it. He looks happy to be back, although a bit itchy. So, <laughs> so that's the update here. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Also, I don't know if you noticed, but I put some vegetables for you, which I can just peas, your favorite. <gasps> I need him to go to bed nice and full. Getting another dog. I walked Harry today, saw this other cockapoo. Loved me more than Harry loves me. He don't love me, he doesn't love me. He's like, he hears me wake up in the morning and he goes, oh, great, she's awake, she can walk me. And then he stretches and then he comes and he's like, Ruff, Ruff. and I'm like, oh. Jim, you can't go in your cage. Come here. No, you can't give kisses to get out of this. Come here. You have to go in your cage. And you have to. Come here. Oh, you good boy. I love you. Oh, you did your good birdie. Okay, you ready for sleep? Good night. Mommy loves you.